I think what really must have, I mean, obviously this is all just conjecture. I've never really, there's no way to find out. But I think what really worked is uh, when you stop trying to like sort of the, the need, what people don't understand, there's no need to embellish. It's, it genuinely is a lot about who you are, which is very surprising because like, you know, growing up in India, it's much more numerical. It's much more concrete. Like, uh, you know, like, okay, what are your marks? What is this? What is that? But I think American admission process does value individuality. And the more you are able to sort of, um, represent that in an application and I think uh, being from the Indian schooling system we were never really um, taught to sort of explore writing from that angle so I remember my sessions with I think Malvika and Dhruv and all and they were obviously like studying in America at the time and they were sort of just like how do you approach writing an essay how do you sort of make some although I am no expert at writing essays not by a long shot I will confess but still I think the most interesting part was that whole idea of how do you actually like sort of construct thoughts and not necessarily focus on facts and numbers. Okay, great. So I think just putting your story together and having that uh, interesting way to present your thoughts in an application. So when you look at uh, choices and looking at making a final college list, the UC is being large public schools. And then I know that you had other colleges which were smaller private or mid-sized universities. Uh, finally, when you ended up going to UCLA, what was the sense that did you get in terms of your research about schools and the actual experience in the initial sort of days? So I think I was always largely clear that I don't want to go to a very small school and more importantly, a very small town. You know, like I was not okay with like being in the middle of nowhere and what is American rural areas. So that my other, my other big option was basically Carnegie Mellon, right? And uh, sort of a, a large part was obviously my sister was already at UCLA and obviously she told me a lot about it. But I think in the end, I didn't really go because I was never really focused on academia. Like that was not my primary focus in life. It was more about sort of uh, where I can grow more. So I really went with the whole idea of what, what, what is the environment of the place? Like the, the socioeconomic, I guess is the correct word. Like, and California seemed like the kind of place where you go and you sort of discover new opportunities. Obviously, Silicon Valley was moving to Silicon Beach at the time. So lots of interesting stuff was happening. Still is, of course. Uh, but for me, it was not so much about the college as it was about the city. Great. So you ended up in very, very close to Beverly Hills and <laughs> yeah. beautiful campus, the UCLA. So describe uh, what a uh, what a experience uh, students get at a school in that setting on a weekday or a weekend. So I week. think... I think, um, I think the first word that comes to mind is overwhelming. And that's the first thing you're going to feel, right? Because UCLA on a given working day has almost 80, 90,000 people on campus. It's basically a small town, like especially by American standards, it's very much is a small town. So I think for the first time you do get hit, especially coming from Vasant Valley, which is a really small school, you know, it's 30 kids, a class, three sections, a grade, that's nothing. Uh, the first thing you feel is, wow. And, and when I say overwhelming, it doesn't necessarily mean that it was a bad overwhelming. It's also like sort of awe striking, so to speak. Uh, but over time, I think um, you get used to it. The one thing that I hated about LA at first was how far everything was. You know, like it's not like Manhattan, you can't just walk down. It's pretty much like going to Santa Monica is either like an hour by public transport, 30, 20 minutes, 25 minutes by Uber. So it needs to be a planned trip. But I think you start to appreciate that thing because, especially given UCLA's location, it is just so nice, the area around, you can walk any time of night. It's super open. It's, it's just, you know, it's not Manhattan and in a good way. Uh, so I think weeks are quite busy, especially for people who are in clubs and stuff. Also because it is the quarter system. So you pretty much week three, especially if you're in one of the STEM, uh, STEM majors, week three onwards up until the end, you will have some sort of an assessment every week. So week three to week 10. But I think in the end, it helps because I would often see a lot of my uh, friends who were in semester based systems, they would sort of it becomes that whole thing, right? Like they will study at the end. And then it's like six months of studying to do at the end, which kind of gets a little at least it would for me. But because of this whole quarter system, you were pretty much on your toes. And even if you weren't acing it, you at least knew what is happening. Weekends in Los Angeles are obviously weekends in LA are weekends in LA. Uh, everything you can imagine, right, from uh, partying to uh, cultural stuff, all kinds of things. Loved exploring the city, loved exploring the food, obviously, uh, Korea town and uh, downtown LA is full of new, new places. 
So I think that way, LA, LA I loved LA because it is, uh, I think it's one of those towns where you can choose to be in sort of total peace. And then within 30 minutes, you can be right back in the middle of like action that's famous on a global scale, which is not really us, that common. Yeah, that, that definitely gives a good perspective on what life can be as a UCLA student. What about the academic rigor? As you mentioned, it sort of progresses in week three of every quarter. Uh, and the quarter system, many students who might be listening might not be familiar with the semester or the quarter system. Uh, what do you think worked in your case in the quarter system? What were the issues you initially thought you would say? So yeah, very quickly for whoever's not familiar with the quarter system, it's obviously dividing the year into four quarters rather than just two semesters. And one quarter is the summer, so it's three quarters of classes. Uh, I think quarter, I enjoyed the quarter system. Like I said, it forces you to be on your toes. The one thing that I did notice about academic rigor and, and just academic quality in general, which I think applies both for semester and quarter systems, is how dependent the same class is on the professor that's teaching it. Like the same, uh, the, the same prof three professors would teach one class, right? But they would just be miles apart. And I'm talking about mathematics, right? So this is all. So you can imagine if mathematics can be three different types of ways of being taught, three different things are happening. Uh, some of the most objective sub, uh, classes must be like way more which was really cool and kind of risky at the same time, because obviously um, you may not agree with everyone's style of teaching, but I was lucky to have some really good professors. Uh, that does not mean easy professors, by the way. I don't mean good as in like they gave easy. Many of them didn't. In fact, one of my first classes was this integration class who's supposed to be this one uh, monster of a professor whose uh, medians used to be in the 40s uh, on good days and stuff like that. But I think it's one of the best classes I took because, you know, Sort of he really explored he didn't say he, he he never sort of said okay how do you solve this question but he started with what is integration what does it even mean what are you even doing what what is the use of it and i think that was awesome so one thing i would tell everyone listening in to do is research your professors maybe even go to a class of theirs another like in the previous quarter if you possibly can so that's not necessary they're all uh rated on that i forgot the website but rate, rate my professor i think uh, definitely check that out because it makes a huge, huge difference. Great. So as you started thinking about your major choices, uh, and I know economics was uh, one of your interests. So you did a double major um, or was it a major minor combination? No, so it, it was actually neither. Funnily enough, it was something called a joint major at UCLA. Uh, they called it economics and math, but it was basically math. It was like economics of a very sort of I don't want to say very elementary level, but still like the math was way at a way higher level than the economics was. Uh, well, yes, both math and economics have some uh, uh, subjects I've been interested in forever, actually. That being said, I somehow did not enjoy the economics bit as much. And whenever someone asks me, I always say that if like don't don't take economics as a major unless you really don't want to do anything else. Uh, only the reason for that is uh, as interesting a subject it is, it is far too theoretical and they claim it to be like you need to know how the world works and stuff, but anything that you will learn, especially at a graduate level, it will first start with five assumptions, right? And like, you know, like the assumption will be like, okay, the consumer is rational, everything else is constant within those five assumptions. Oh, and I get it, obviously, the theoretical models to work off of. But I think that there are better subjects to study, especially in America, in, 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 in America, or at least at UCLA, where like just the, the sheer variety of courses is so good. Math was awesome. I think math just got a whole new perspective on what mathematics means. Because in India, I think growing up in CBSC, it's, it's very didactic, right? It's like, okay, here's how you solve a question. Here are a few questions, move on. Never really going into what math is, what it stands for, how it came about. I think UCLA, some of my professors really uh, went deep into that, and that was awesome.